Hello, this is Gerard Stroh at Starlight G Recording. You are looking at a 16 track task scam reel to reel that they use in recording studios. And it's a 16 track tape machine. And it records at 15 IPSs. And this video is about how to clean the heads and the tape guys and everything on the tape machine. So I'm going by the tape machine now. And let me show you what I do. First, we lowered down the head shield. And here's what the heads look like on the tape machine before you clean them. And here is a picture what the heads look like. Now that's what the heads look like. And the next thing we do is that's a view of the heads as of now. Here is what we do. And now we are going to do the cleaning of the 16 track tape machine. There is my hair cleaner right there. We must always clean the heads between every recording session we have to do in the studio and even at home use also. The heads must be clean at all times also. We should always use Q-tips and no abrasive stuff on the heads. That's a Q-tip. You can use any kind of Q-tip, even the ones you have to clean your ears with. Now, we must unscrew the cover of the hair cleaner before cleaning the heads. Now we're unscrewing it. First, I'm going to clean the reproduce head. It is also called the playback head. And there's the Q-tip right there. And we are brushing the heads with the hair cleaner and going up and down as we go and sometimes back and forth also. It takes a while to clean the heads and we must do it until it's clean. On any audio tape machine, we must not use head cleaner on your pinch roller or any other roller that's got rub on it because the tape needs to grip that to turn it. Here is another tip is if you use old Ampex tape or scotch or whatever, we must always bake the tape because tape can be sticky and there was a bad run of Ampex tape in the 1980s. That's another reason why you must bake the tape. 
the heads are looking better as we clean them. We're still doing it a little bit more until it's all done. It's like I said, it takes a while to do it. We just gotta keep on making sure all the tracks are clean of the audio head, you know, the playback head. And sometimes you wanna use the other side of the Q-tip See, there are some debris on that Q-tip. So now, now we're going to clean the record head. And that tape head has two functions. When we are in record mode, it acts as a playback head when doing multi-tracking. But we're cleaning the record head that must be clean at all times. And we're scrubbing it. And it takes a while like we did on the playback head. So we're cleaning it well. Make sure it looks clean before we put tape on it. And we're still cleaning it back and forth, make sure all the debris is off of the record head. And it's looking good. We have to keep on doing it for a little bit. We are getting a new Q-tip to do some more cleaning on the heads. It takes a little bit to do this and we're still scrubbing it. We're almost done with that head. And we must make sure every track is clean. And we are going to be showing you the Q-tip in a little bit after it's clean to show the debris and we're still cleaning it. We have to make sure that it's done right. We're almost done with the heads, with that head. And we just about got it. And now we are going to get another Q-tip to clean the erase head. The erase head, the tracks are staggered because I think they're a little bit wider than the tracks on the playback head and the record head. And usually the erase head is like white in color especially on big multi-track machines and the erase head is a dust collector. That head usually builds up quicker than the other two heads on the tape machine. See how dirty it is? That Q-tip is pretty dirty and it takes a couple of tries to get the hair clean. Sometimes it might take a whole Q-tip. Sometimes it can take two Q-tips to clean the erase head. And you do the same thing on any kind of reel-to-reel -reel tape machine. It doesn't matter how many tracks you have. The same principle is always the same. It's much easier on professional big multi-track tape machines. And there's more adjustments on these tape machines than there is on their smaller counterparts. And we're still trying to get that hair clean. It takes a while. Like I said on the other two heads that we cleaned. 
and the Q-tip can't get really dirty. So if it looks dirty, you get a new Q-tip. And now we are getting some more Q-tips and the hair cleaner to clean the the tape guides on the tape deck. There are two guides, uh, one by the playback head and one by the erase head. And there's also another place we have to clean too. There is a flutter roller right next to the playback head and the record head. That must be cleaned too. And we're cleaning the guides some more. And we went on the other side so we can show you how it's supposed to look after we clean it. Then after we get done with that, we're gonna clean the tape lifters on the tape machine. So that is the next step in our procedure, cleaning the tape deck. But we're still not done cleaning the tape guys yet. There we go, now we're going to clean the, the tape lifters on the tape deck. We had to get some more hair cleaner again. And now we're cleaning the tape lifters. Most tape decks have two tape lifters and sometimes some just have one. It's a big job to clean an audio tape machine. Each time when we get a new tape out of the box, we must clean the heads before putting it on the tape machine. And what we also do on tape machines, we also put the spool of tape on the right take-up spindle and put the take-up wheel on the left-hand side we do this because we want a tight wrap on the spool of tape when we store it each time we use it. It's always in good practice that we do that. And now we're still cleaning the tape lifters on the tape machine. And as you see, I'm holding the tape cleaner in my left hand because I had to get a little bit more tape cleaner to clean the tape lifters on the tape machine. So we're getting it done. It takes a little bit. See how dirty that was? That's dirty. For next time, on part two, we are going to clean the right and the left tension arms on the tape machine. And also, we are going to clean the two rollers that the tape runs on. And this is Gerard from Starlight G Recording and I will see you next time. Goodbye.